Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Scarlet and this is a Fallout 4 announcement slash addendum video. Now if you've seen the title, you'll already know what sort of announcement this is. For those who don't want to see that and just want to cut straight to Fallout 4, go to the time on your screen right now. Cool? Cool. For those still here, I can only assume that you at least have a passing interest in what I have to say. And that is, I have launched a Patreon! Yay! Now, right off the bat, I want to say that this is not going to paywall anything, at all. Everything that I make, be it videos, or DeviantArt, whatever, is always going to be 100% free and available publicly. Now, the model I've chosen for my Patreon is, simply put, as a tip jar. Just there for those you feel inclined to use it. There's no obligation whatsoever. And I'm going to keep its footprint on the channel as extremely small as I possibly can, contained to links in descriptions, a tiny little link on the front page of YouTube, and a little 10 second card on videos. Now, for those who do choose to support me through Patreon, I do not expect to be living off this or upgrading my computer or anything like that at all. But if you do choose to support me through Patreon, you have my utmost gratitude and you also have the choice of two reward tiers for one and three dollars per month respectively. For the first one, for one dollar per month, you get early access to videos by about five days or so. So, videos that I make will be recorded, edited, and uploaded on the Friday, and they'll go live on the following Wednesday on YouTube. Patrons will get access to those videos as soon as they go live on that Friday. Now, admittedly, that is going to be very late Friday, but it's still there. So, as I said, about five days early access. It's not a lot. But I figure you also get some something back for supporting me in any way you can. The second tier, the three dollars per month, is access to a weekly straw poll to decide what the next KSP build is going to be. So patrons will get to decide the uh, basically the type of build that I do, be it land, sea, air, space, whatever, and then more nuanced within that. So, let's say it's an aircraft, um, you'll be able to decide whether it's civilian or military, prop powered, jet powered, what have you, and then I'll take the winning votes from that and consult my admittedly very large to-do list and pick something that fits. Now, I didn't choose the um, more obvious option of patrons picking precisely which craft gets made because I wanted to maintain some autonomy for myself and to keep the straw poll management because my to-do list is a mile and a half long. For those who have seen it, it's linked in the description of KSP videos. It is huge and growing all the time as people suggest more and that's something that's going to remain completely free and public is suggestions to the to-do list. Patrons will simply get to decide which things from that list get done. So to sum up, Patreon tip jar, not going to be living off it, it's just there for those who feel inclined to use it. So for those who skipped ahead or those who have stuck around to listen to my ramblings, full out full time. So car, can you not please? Anyway, you all have noticed by now that uh, the last couple of weeks have been sans stream. And the only reasoning I can give to that is simply life got in the way repeatedly. I was either didn't have the ability or the headspace to stream. That is going to be a thing of the past. From now on, every Saturday at or around 7.30pm, I'm going to stream Fallout 4. Now, admittedly, some of those may end up being rather low-key or melancholy, 
I'm just gonna have to bite that bullet because I hate this extreme. I want to keep this as a weekly series. But in light of the uh, missed content, I think I should catch you all up on what I've been doing in my downtime since the last stream. And all of that can be boiled down to Fortifying Sanctuary. So I've basically, as you can see here, part of, I've walled in the entire central complex of Sanctuary. From the central gate, just around the corner here, down to the river, and all the way behind the houses. And I've also taken up several new settlers, my favourite of which is walking towards me right now. This is Zamina. She basically showed up in this awesome looking duster with her own customized pipe pistol, stuck herself on that guard post and refused to move. So I just had to give her a full studded leather armor kit, Minuteman hat and custom pipe rifle. She basically now functions as a second in command for the sanctuary guards, either Preston Garvey and myself. As for the rest of what I've been working on, there's an armory shack just over there. I'll go into more detail with that on stream proper. And um, made a little mistake with scrapping all the detritus around. And kind of had to fix the road a bit. Whoops. Minuteman HQ. This is what has occupied most of my time. And as you can see, there are a few flags out front, as well as a recruitment beacon on the roof. Through the door here, receptionist desk, still in a state of decoration, as is the whole place. War room for consolidating leaders of nearby settlements. Minuteman rec room. Close the door, people. So, they have TV, food and drink, exercise, and a kitchen, as well as bathrooms that I've yet to furnish. Upstairs, there's my room, we'll get to that in a bit. And here we have the currently seven bed barracks. And again, yet to decorate. Which has a rather nice view and a guard post up here. So, yeah, they can keep tabs on the goings on of the town. And then through here, my room. Quite simple. A little radio and a bed. And a mounted death ball. I like to think that this is the one from Concord, because you know, first death death call that I ever killed. And then just a simple patio. And yes, this is what has taken up all of my time since last stream. And also all of my crafting resources. Constantly, I am running out of steel, wood, and cloth. And let me tell you, with as little of the map as I've explored, those things are very hard to come by. So, that's basically it. And I'm going to be going over some more stuff like mods and such in stream proper this Saturday at or around 7.30 p.m. But until then, I think I've rambled on enough. Are there any raiders going to spawn here? Nope. They do love to. Right here. And then they of course get lit up by the two, three, four, five or so turrets that I have lined up along here, as well as Hawkeye June up there in the tower. But yeah, I've rambled on enough. So, I think it's time to say thank you all kind of for watching. I'm Scarlet, and I'll see you on stream.